Welcome to our school's podcast. Here we are going to show you how teachers, parents, and pupils can share advice, tips, and know-how to bring the best out of all of us. Learning is a joint experience, and through our series of interviews, we can all learn more and achieve even greater things. Here is this week's host. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Welcome to, of course, the Grizzly Talk podcast with your host, Kennedy Lucas Patterson. Y'all, welcome back to the podcast. Hopefully, you guys had a grand, fantastic weekend. Of course, we're back here live from Swanky Studios. It is a close set, and we're here for a Monday's beautiful podcast here today. It's a beautiful Monday. I do say beautiful because it is quite cloudy outside for today. Uh, oh, yesterday it was stormy and uh, last night it stormed. I was in my house and I saw the storm. So it was storming last night. And as I look outside the window here in the office, uh, we do have some clouds coming in for today. So hopefully you guys are having a grand Monday, uh, beautiful Monday. If you guys haven't followed us on our Instagram yet, of course, what are you waiting for? It's grizzly underscore talk. We have 1,715 uh, followers on our Instagram. The reason why I'm uh, relaying to our Instagram so early in the podcast because everyone has saw it, and I'm excited to announce, of course, today. Uh, well, we announced it kind of yesterday, but today we are going to be sharing the GTP network with my next documentary film, y'all. Yes. Thank you. So, it's not much of a... I, I want to do this documentary because I wanted to expand on our GTP network uh, specifically because we have such a huge following. Uh, everyone over at Georgia Gwinnett College, you guys, the Grizzly fans, the Grizzly community, you guys really been sucking with us for the longest time. And during this whole predicament, this whole pandemic, uh, a lot of people are able to stay positive. Um... We have a lot of students that are staying positive throughout the experience of doing online classes and not being able to be on campus specifically to attend classes. And a lot of people have been very positive about this. And of course, a lot of RSOs, they were able to stay positive, of course, uh, different departments, especially the GDC get involved. Especially they're staying positive and they're doing the challenges every week and they're just trying to reach out to the students online. So... It really is exciting, um, to say the least. So, the purpose of this documentary film, of course, this new documentary film presented by Swanky Studios and the GTP Network, it's called Corona vs. America. So, as many of you guys know, I've done uh, many movies before, uh, short films and cinematic movies, but i never really done a documentary movie before. Um, so, I'm tackling on a huge documentary project, and I wanted to reach out on the podcast because I am looking for GGC students. I'm looking for GGC departments and RSOs to be a part of this documentary series because we're representing GGC at a great light, and we can really ex share our stories of what we are doing now in the quarantine hours and what, how did the coronavirus affect our normal day-to-day -day operations at Georgia Gwinnett College. So these are the kind of RSOs that I'm looking forward to being on this documentary. Of course, I want GGC students to be a part of it. I would love GGC Res Life to be a part of it. I would love GGC Greenlight, Olas, the ASL Club, Fashion. I want all these RSOs to be on it. I want different departments to be a part of it, just like the GG, uh, GGC Student Envi uh, Student Employment uh, Center. I would love GGC Athletics to be a part of this project too. And they really hit really big because they canceled the spring season and the banquet and the tournament. And they canceled a lot of things with GGC Athletics. So I wanted to kind of get them on record, get them on the camera and just kind of express how it kind of affected them a little bit and how the ways they strive uh, to stay positive in a positive light. So I want everyone in this movie. Unfortunately, I can't get every student, every 15,000 student on this documentary because it's going to be kind of a long series. And I just want this to be a short documentary film. So I want to get a lot of people out there on this documentary. So if you guys are interested, all you have to do is there's two ways you can contact us. Of course, you can contact us on our Instagram. It's grizzly underscore talk. You can do a DM or you can contact me via email. That's kpatterson2 at ggc.eu if you would like to be part of the documentary series. Now, we are in the casting stage now. We're not interviewing. We won't probably won't interview until maybe, maybe fall um, because that's when we're hoping that we'll be back in 
front of the camera back in campus and we'll we'll have a safe to to meet each other so we won't be interviewing now obviously but if you guys are interested all you have to do is uh, direct message me or email me and then i'll give you the times when we will officially start to film the project but um we've started the intro we started some work here at our studio so i wanted to kind of reach out for sure and make sure that you guys are you know or if you're interested please be a part of this project because you never know how big this project is going to go. I plan on taking it to film festivals. I'm planning on sending it to Netflix and maybe Hulu to see if we can get approved. Probably not, but you know, a, a man can dream, can he? You know? So I want to get a lot of people out there on this movie so that way we can go to great heights and we can, um, you never know where it might lead. You know, you never know, you never know what it might lead into something bigger. So uh, if you want to be a part, I really recommend you guys come on and be a part of it. So if you guys seen my latest post before the trailer of the new documentary film, we gave a shout out to, of course, a wonderful, wonderful RSO. Uh, you guys can check it out on our Instagram at grizzly underscore talk. We were able to do a lot of good things for this RSO. And we really see that this RSO is getting uh, quite some, some buzz and quite some viewership here. Is the Sustainability of Georgia Gwinnett College. That's the Student Innovators Organization of Sustainability. The SIOS of Georgia Gwinnett College. Uh, you guys can follow their Instagram. It's S-I-O-S underscore G-G-C. That's S-I-O-S underscore G-G-C. Again, if you guys want to follow their Instagram, fairly new RSO that's coming out for sure. But, you know, I am proud and I'm happy and I'm excited to see what they're going to do next when it comes to um, sustainability for G-G-C and what kind of projects they're going to do for the next fall, this coming fall, of course. So last week we announced a new dean of school of education that was uh dr um oliver bernard and today well they posted this on the 16th on the website but i wanted to kind of announce it here on the podcast of course ggc names winter halter dean of school of liberal arts so that's a new dean to come a part of ggc and i'll read her bio here uh i want to say to dr winter halter uh welcome to uh, the school of ggc welcome indeed welcome to the grizzly clan the grizzly community and uh, welcome to the School of Liberal Arts. Of course, this a French writer and philosopher and activist once noted, books saved my life. If you ask Dr. Teresa Winterhalter, books and good teachers saves hers. From the early age, the Belmont, New York native saw how education expanded horizons, transformed lives and fueled dreams. Her zest for education and transformative power is what's called Winterhalter to teach. The knowledge and skills and successions of the seasoned edu educator gained her long decades higher education career led to GGC to name Dr. Teresa Winterhalter, Dean of School of Liberal Arts. Winterhalter comes to GGC from Georgia Southern University's Armstrong campus. Now, if that's the same Georgia Southern that I know of, I know a little bit about that school um, because a shout out to my big sister. She went to Georgia Southern and she graduated from Georgia Southern. So uh, where she is Associate Dean of the College of Arts and Hum uh, Humanities while overseeing the excuse me, while overseeing the eight departments of several interdisciplinary programs, she developed faculty recruitment and retention strategies, uh, prepared areas for the assessment and the accreditation reviews, including Southern Associate uh, Association of College and Schools Commission on uh, colleges. That's a long name <laughs> for that accreditation. Develop communities, outreach programs, and assess performance of faculty across the college. Went to Hodger spent nearly 25 years at the Armstrong State University. Um, she began at the Savannah Bay School as a professor of English and moved up to the ranks, serving as the uh, founding director of the Gender and Women's Studies program. That's very, very interesting. I wonder... Will she be able to talk to the president and and kind of form this up for um, to have that as a major here? Did you see? I'm not too sure we have a genders and women's studies program, but that could go a really, really long way. And I think that this should happen because, you know, our third wonderful president, Dr. Jan Joseph, um, she made history to not only be the third uh, president, pre president of the school, but she is, you know, a African-American uh, female to serve at our GGC campuses and for that I'm always going to be grateful for that for sure so it will mean the world 
it will mean the world to us here at GTC if somehow Winter, Dr. Winterhalter could advocate a, a woman studies course within the program. You will be amazed at how many st uh, students will be interested, whether you're a male or female. Students might be interested in that program, and there's a lot of good career fields that can go that can lead up to that. So, um, I take pride in that. Honestly, you know, we're in the year 2020, where you know women are very powerful. They're very powerful, and they're very empowered to do a lot of things in our world. And it's really, really amazing uh, to see how women in business can go a long way with our economy, with our, our school, wherever, all over Atlanta, women are the power chip of uh, businesses. And, you know, it's the year, it's the, it's the new, it's the new, the new trend, the norm, you know, women are very powerful. So it will be awesome if we had a genders of women's studies program. I'll let you guys in a little, in on a little secret about myself. I'm a bit of a feminist. You know, I, I believe in women independence. I believe in woman power. So, uh, to say to see that this could be, you know, founded at GGC would be amazing. And she founded it at the Armstrong State University. So let's make that happen. Quote comes from her. I was excited to develop my important academic um, programs at the Armstrong campus that serve changing the needs of our students and our community, says Winter Halter. I said that I I say I'm proudest of the ways I was able to use our existing institutional resources to address those in need. So, again, Dr. Winterhalter, welcome to GGC. Welcome to the Grizzly Fan um, Clan. And, you know, I would love to talk to you on the podcast if you're somehow listening to our podcast here uh, today. Um, I would love to have you on the podcast to kind of talk to it, as well as Dr. Um, Bernard, too. I would love to have the two new deans to come on the podcast to kind of tell their stories about their teaching and kind of come on the podcast and, and kind of share with us on the record about plans for development for GGC and what's next to come um, for the long reigning school of GGC. So I really uh, welcome you on in for uh, GGC indeed. All right, before we tie down the podcast here, we're going to do our shout outs on our podcast show for sure. Today's podcast goes out, uh, well, shout out goes out to the GGC Advising Center. Please be sure to, if you haven't seen your advisor yet, Please be sure to stay up with your advisor so that way you guys can uh, see them and, you know, get the lifted off for the summer semester if you're somehow taking summer or fall. And, you know, your advisors can really point you in the right direction. Uh, my advisor, Dr. Jan, um, she's amazing. She really, really is amazing um, advisor to me. And she's actually guided me this way. And um, we're on our way to graduation, and she's been with me throughout the journey. So I really recommend you guys going out and seeing your advisors. They posted on their Instagram. You can see their Instagram again. That's GGC underscore advising. That's GGC underscore advising, of course. Dream big, work hard, stay focused, and surround yourself with good people. That's the mo Monday motivation coming from GGC underscore advising, the GGC advising and mentoring center at GGC. So that's going to wrap it up here on the podcast here, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys are staying safe today. Make sure you drink water every 15 minutes. Stay safe. Stay indoors when you, ha when you uh, have to. If you have to go to work, please be sure to wear gloves. And this whole thing will be over very, very soon, GGC community, so that way we can get fully reunited together. So hang tight. Something's going to be done and something's going to be fixed about this whole pandemic. We'll be able to see each other once again very, very soon. So that's going to wrap it up here on the Grizzly Talk podcast with your host, Kennedy Lucas Patterson. Stay safe and go Grizzlies. Loved what you've heard on this week's episode? Well, well the answer is simple. It would mean the world to us if you could head over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review and feedback. Spreading the word really is the best way to grow our podcast and achieve even greater things. Thank you. Thank you. Please be advised that this podcast is meant for educational and informational purposes only and is in no way a replacement for legal or medical advice. The opinions contained within are solely those of the interviewers and interviewees and should be received as so. Those seeking help or advice are encouraged to obtain professional legal and medical services. We are online 24-7. Hello fans, this is Kennedy Lucas Patterson, the host of Grizzly Talk Podcast. If you enjoyed today's podcast, please be sure to head on over to our hit radio station at GTP 94.6, the radio station, only on Spotify and iTunes. Thank you.